I want you to F me, hurt me, make me bleed. Man, I want to. Lewis, yeah? Man, I want to hurt you. Lewis, F me. Yeah, says the man. Yeah, hard. Good evening. My name is Tracy Nolasco, and I'm a parent of a sophomore student attending Temecula Valley High School. I am here to inform you of an assignment given to my daughter in her drama class. It is important and relevant to note that my daughter is 15 years old and she is a minor, and most of the students in her class are freshmen. My daughter was placed in a group and asked to choose a playwright from a short list. There was a small description under each play, but no warning was given as to the explicit content she would find. My, student, um, her, my student's group chose the play Angels in America and were asked to read it in its entirety. The play was digitally provided to my student on her TVHS Chromebook. My, my daughter came to me when she was about 60 pages into the play, clearly distraught. She said to me, Mom, I can't read this. I just can't, but I have to. I don't want to fail. I began reading the play, and my findings were as follows. 109 F words, sexual violence, a sexually explicit scene that describes the act of anal sex with a stranger in a park, unprotected sex, and the taking of pills that cause hallucinations. I drafted an email with dialogue from the scene and included screenshots from the play and sent it to the drama teacher and the principal at TV. The email never reached its recipients as it was unable to make it through your TVUSD email system and flagged as including objectionable content and attachments. That means the teachers were protected, but my student was not. My question to you is what justifies assigning material like this to a minor? How can a school justify the violation of innocence? Looking into federal law, I found that there are laws that prevent the distribution of obscene content to minors. The teacher clearly distributed obscene material to minors. I am gonna read a small ex excerpt, but I've modified it to make it more palatable, I suppose. The play, in one of the scenes, it says, man, what do you want? Lewis says, I want you to F me, hurt me, make me bleed. Man, I want to. Lewis, yeah? Man, I wanna hurt you. Lewis, F me. Yeah, says the man, yeah, hard. It goes on to say in closed captions that they begin to F. The scene continues and describes the characters having anal sex, and at one point the character reports that his seconds. condom broke. He, had, and he asks the man if he'd like him to pull out. The other character replies that he doesn't care and asks him to infect him. I wonder about the mental and emotional responses of each student who had to read this. I have apologized to my own daughter for having to go through this and to deal with the questions and confusion that come from reading something like this. I have received no explanation or apology from the drama teacher. I look forward to how this will be rectified. I'm asking for the board to create policy to protect against this in the future. Thank you, Ms. Alasco. If you have.